That's the best thing that has ever been said marketing wise on this channel. And we haven't been talking about it enough. And people need to know that kind of stuff because what I'm gonna say something that may like change somebody's business for the rest of the year, but but what I'm Good. what I'm telling you right now is the dead truth. Most people aren't patient enough or they ignore the long term and like, dude, I need to make four grand this month. What about making forty grand a month in four years? He's giving away stuff marketing wise. I'm like, dude, are we sure we wanna share that? He's like, Yeah, we do. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know. It'll and, change next week anyways. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I've been getting a ton of questions in regards to leads, marketing, what you do in 2020, what you do in 2021, what's the industry, our industry's behind, what's the old stuff that's still working that maybe there's better stuff in the future. Landon, welcome back, bro. Dude, welcome to be on the channel. It's only Dude, been, it's been like, what, a month and a half since I've been on your it's channel? It's been way too long. Not only is our YouTube channel exploding by a couple thousand new agents every month, our team, Secure Agent Marketing, has like 55, 60 employees now. It's crazy big. Yes. I'm guessing last time we were on the channel, I was on the channel. I bet you we had 20 employees, dude. Yeah. Like seriously, but that was like two months ago. Yeah, it's, in, <laughs> it's crazy. Through, through COVID, we've expanded our team for sure. And I'm getting a ton of questions about digital marketing, leads. What should I do now? And I want to give them all the answers. Stay with us. I'm going to even include a free bonus at the end if they stay with us till the very end. I got something good today. Okay? Down, down, down. And, yeah, yeah. And, and I know you've got some good stuff to share. Why don't you walk us through like, okay, what the landscape as of... Right now, end of 2020, like going into AEP, going into 2021, like we've got some clients who are spending over a hundred grand a month with our marketing company. What are they doing and what, sh what should people know? Man, it is it is a interesting time to be in the marketing world right now, that's for sure. Things are changing quickly. The political climate is very interesting on social, not to say the least. We're seeing, you know, costs creep up. Um, but in general, you know, one of the things that I like to try to communicate that I feel like we've learned just over the last 18 months of really doing only insurance marketing, there's really two main things you got to focus on. Do you want short-term lead flow mm. um, into your business in the form of just getting activity and leads and names and numbers? There's a yes. hundred different ways of doing that. Or do you want long-term strategies built to educate a user mm. to get the opportunity to educate that individual with SEO, search engine optimization, website development, structuring things correctly? Yes. When, yeah, we want all those things. Yes. It comes down to budget. And so, you know, at the end of the day, what I try to communicate is, is you want to, it's just like a good in, uh, financial portfolio. You got to have short-term, you got to have long long-term. In order to define that, though, you have to figure out a budget, mm. right? So it, well, let me ask you, what do you think a healthy marketing, digital marketing budget is for a average size team? We're not talking big call center. You know, let's, let's say for 80% of the agents out there, what do you think they should be spending a mo every month or two? At least a couple grand a month. I agree. For I, sure. I'd say a minimum of 1500 I would say 2500 is the sweet spot, 30 grand a year. Um, and between that... You will get a great marketing strategy long term and short term. Yeah. And right? if someone's watching, they're like, dude, 30 grand a year, a couple grand a month. Like, what are these guys talking about? Well, you're never going to make freaking quarter million dollars a year, 150 grand a year. You spend 30 grand a week. Yeah. We, you know what I mean? So, yeah. and, and, and I, you know, you can't be afraid. How, how, how often have you spent money on marketing and had it not come back long term? It always comes back to me in the future. That's why I love marketing so much. Everything we're doing, we're advertising on every flipping platform. We're even doing a bunch of stuff on LinkedIn ads now. Like, no, nobody talks about that. You know, I mean, dude, the stuff we're doing, our team is researching Twitter ads, doing a bunch of stuff on that. Like, the, from a marketing landscape, if, 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 if my viewers right now are watching and they're giving money to any other vendor or marketing agency, they might as well be throwing in the trash because I promise you we can help them spend Boom, it better. Baby. Well, you know, it, you just have to identify, okay, do we want short-term leads? Do we want long-term strategies or both? Yeah. And then once you kind of cross that bridge, in my opinion, there's a couple different categories. The, the main thing with social, uh, with short-term right now, is the days of just buying Facebook leads. I think that's like... If, the only reason you would do that is if your budget is so small that all you can do is afford an, uh, a Facebook lead sure. order, right? Which is still a good fit for a lot of people that are starting, yes. et cetera. Maybe you have some co-op dollars for AEP or whatever. So maybe a lead order is, is is a good fit. But if they are a small budget real quick, like we have like over half a million age leads for PNC, final expense, life, Medicare, health, mortgage protection, et cetera, home, auto, condo, et cetera, that you could have access to by working with us. I'm going to say something that may like change somebody's business for the rest of the year, but but what I what I'm telling you right now is the dead truth. The buyer intent of a Facebook lead right now in this political climate of of inflated costs, etc., 
is not all that much higher than an aged lead overall. It's definitely higher because it's a new lead, sure. but we're talking a dollar aged lead versus like a eight, nine, twelve dollar you know new Facebook. Lead. And that's what we're generating them for. And, and and we for those who don't know, we generate leads at cost at Security Agent Marketing, so that you can actually get leads at cost. You're not buying per lead. We're not saying, hey, we get it for eight bucks. Here you go for twenty four. Like we don't do that unless you want to do it. Um, but all, but also not only that, uh, we're generating them at that point. A lot of people are paying. More than twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty two. When 21. you can get them for two dollars, a dollar, and get a bunch of them, and they're still two to ninety days old. Maybe they're not one second fresh. Yep. Yep. But not all that worse sometimes. And you're gonna your return on investment as long as you're working those leads. Right now, man, I'm telling you, like it's kind of like a little sweet spot. I don't know how long it's gonna last, yeah. but I think the political climate is changing things enough. To where I'm starting to like see a lot of clients kind of pivot down that road, um, but yeah, I mean that, that that at the end of the day, if you are going to do social though, automations are huge. You can't mm. just drive a, a social lead form into a spreadsheet and call it like those are that's done. Like you have to basically drive automated texts, automated emails, trying to get them to a calendar invite or an inbound phone call, um, and really work those leads with automations because you need to touch those leads 12 times in the first 72 hours to get a 75% contact rate. Let automations take six to eight of those initial touch points. Doesn't mean you need to take your time off and not call the lead, but that at least helps with the activity to try and get that early engagement. Boom! Boom. Explosion. That's the best thing that has ever been said marketing-wise on this channel, and we haven't been talking about it enough, and people need to know that kind of stuff because what, literally you think about automations, and a lot of people don't have the automations or they're working with a vendor that won't do it for them. Tell them about what we do to help them actually touch leads up to 12 times in 72 hours, and we automate it for you, which is insane because I preach like, hey, touch leads, right, a lot, speed to lead, all this kind of stuff. It's impossible to touch 20 leads 12 times, 240 touches, holy freak, how do I keep up? In, in 72 hours. Yes. We do it for them. Yes. So if I was an agent that needed a short-term strategy and wanted to get things moving quickly, I would do two things. One, I would, I would look up Samson, which is our automation platform that we've rolled out mm -hmm. that allows us to send automatic test me text messages, automatic emails. The second that lead is generated, we'll also phone call the agent and try and connect it with the lead as well to try and get that speed to lead as quick as possible. Um, and But what we're trying to do with the automations is trying to get that initial engagement, reply with your zip code to see if the rates are available in your area, whatever. So that initial uh, engagement is then now a hot, hot, hot lead. So we're trying to get those initial engagements, we're trying to get the inbound phone calls, we're trying to get that, that just activity, not just driving the lead. Because Facebook is kind of beat up right now where a lot of these people are going through multiple, you know, people's yes. lead funnels, et cetera. It's just like direct mail. You know, yep. you go go to a turning 65 guy's mailbox and the direct mail will fall out when you open it, you know, yes. for turning 65. Well, dude, I hear it all the time. People are buying leads from vendors. and like, dude, I got the same lead from both vendors. Yeah. This happened with direct mail too. Yeah, it know? absolutely is happening. So, so in my opinion, here's the perfect mix, okay? okay. Get Samson, set a budget, $1,500 a month or whatever on social, drive the social leads, and then get like 500 age leads and drop them in Samson. Mm. That's what I do. That way I'm you're starting that. with 500 age leads off the bat. Your automations are running. You've got 500 names to be able to call and work through. And then you've got these new leads that are coming in as well. It, it also, I love the age lead position. And we, we've always had them. We've always been big proponent of it. We have a way more now than we ever had. And it's of benefit to agents. If, 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 if like ROI, cost of acquisition, um, or I've got a call center, I need to supplement a bunch of openers and keep them busy because activity is king. Yep. The age lead talk help solve a lot of the problems with prospecting. It does, man. And and you know, not only that, like you gotta have activity. Momentum creates in, in business, you gotta move forward. You gotta go. And and in order to do your job, you have to have people to call. And you know, believe it or not, sometimes those new openers, just having the volume of names and numbers Without the actual agent, if you're the one that runs the business, runs the team or whatever, you don't have to tell them that their age leads. They're not probably going to know the difference anyways because yeah. your script should be structured in a way to where you're really just treating each lead the same anyways and trying to get that appointment booked, right? Yes. So you really shouldn't be like, well, this is a good lead and that's a bad lead. And I'm going to – I mean like yeah, any yeah, of yeah. our killer friends, nobody's letting anyone complain no, about lead no. quality. Well, that's like us letting our team whine and complain to be super negative and create a bunch of drama in a culture. Like no. if you're in an office and if you're a team lead, yep. if you're yourself yep. alone at home yep. by yourself, like yep. – 
and you start having those self talk and you start like talking negative like that, it's it's going to ruin everything. And so so that's how what I would absolutely do for a short term. Now for a long term, depending on your industry, you know, life yeah. or you know, Medicare, whatever. But I would absolutely be building a large foundational content built website with lots of website pages built to educate the users. Anybody that's selling Medicare out there, I would just ask you one question to just solidify and 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 make valid what I'm saying. Are your prospects coming to you? more educated now than ever on that first meeting. Yes. Duh. They're coming down saying, hey, I think I need this. I don't, I don't, what about this? And I, and I know that there's like blah, 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 blah. You know, rewind the clock four or five years ago, you were kind of sitting down with these prospects and they were like, ah, I'm just overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Yeah. Well, where do you think they're doing this education? Online, duh. Yes. So in the, in the local market, Google is wanting to send those Medicare recipients into an actual local Medicare office if possible. So if you can build a website that has a Google My Business structured, your directory listing says that you live on this street in this city with this zip code, mm-hmm. this whatever, and you structure everything correctly, you will be the Medicare authority yeah. in that particular Dude, area. I freaking love long-term strategies. I mean, think about it. We, we did a lot of short-term stuff, but think about like the brand oh now. Oh my God, dude. It was all because we invest, like we got Seriously, a studio man. and a video team and a marketing 15 sales department. people that we would never be able to feed with a paid budget entirely. Exactly. Like zero chance of us being the business that we are without heavily investing in content marketing. It's a long-term play. And most people aren't patient enough or they ignore the long-term and like, dude, I need to make four grand this month. What about making 40 grand a month in... Four years. Well, just, just, I mean, just the opportunity. People work with the people that educate them. I've said that till I'm blue in the face. And yeah. at the end of the day, like, you rewind the clock even two years ago, dude, whenever you and me tried to do, or we were doing uh, the retreat. Yeah, yeah. We were like struggling to get like five or six or seven people there because yes. we didn't have the brand built. We hadn't really, I mean, we had the brand built, but it wasn't where it's at now. No, no, yeah, it was way smaller. Um, but now that we have this sort of content engine going, you know, everybody, 100% of our clients, have seen a video with Cody or I or been to yeah. one of our websites and read something, right? And that's because people work with people to educate them. So now we roll out this Power Players retreat. How many people did you have at the last Power Player retreat? 23. And everybody And it sold out early. Dude. <laughs> and like and it was the blast. it was a blast. Like yeah. it was the the most fun I've ever had in my life. Yes. And the we got all of that because of content marketing. Yeah, we do Google, we do YouTube, yeah. we do Facebook to feed this, the sales force. We do all the things that are yeah. paid, but we also really live and die on our YouTube channel, our organic education that we do, and you know the, the conference that you're throwing, and just everything is built to educate the, the user. We now have clients in multiple countries. Yeah. I heard you say something yesterday. Yeah. Was it to me or on a, on a YouTube video that you shot? I don't know where I heard it, but you said how many percent of your contacts for CA are out of the country? One fifth. Twenty percent. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I was. That was on the live with with Brendel and that's and, what and it Glenn. was. Yeah. Yeah. Golly, I heard that. And I'm like. What? Yeah. One out of five is coming from out of the country? From organic leads, yes. So yes. how else do you have a global reach? Like, think about, I mean, rewind the, rewind the clock 10 years ago, man. Like, how would you get a global reach? You can't. I don't it's know. almost impossible. Like, I mean, you have a website 10 yeah. years ago. But my, my point but like is... Like Mellum or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Yeah. You know, and, and people, I mean, I, I'll tell you what, man. I didn't even see it until I saw what you guys were doing with your CA channel and brand and all of that. And I'm just like, good grief. Like that's why we started the secret agent marketing YouTube channel yes. is because yes. we really feel like we need to niche down and have the marketing be on one channel and the training be on another channel. Yes. You got to check out secret agent marketing YouTube channel. Like if you're not subscribed to that, they're putting out content every week. Yep. That's like crazy deep dive marketing stuff. He's giving away stuff marketing wise. I'm like, dude, are we sure we want to share that? He's like, yeah, we do. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, and it'll change next week anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we also have a, a Facebook group called advanced insurance marketing. Go check, yes. take a check at that. Uh, we talk about all kinds of advanced tactics that are not just Facebook lead gen. Good yeah. grief. You yeah, know, yeah. like that's the, the days of... Facebook lead gen being your marketing strategy, dude, it's not it, man. It's you not have it. to be ahead of the curve. And as we wrap this up, this dude, Landon McCarter, my business partner in Security Marketing, is a marketing legend, the Greek freak of marketing. You get, you know, Giannis Acampo from, from, six from, nine, you from know. the NBA. He's 6'9", <laughs> so he's the Greek freak of marketing, insurance marketing. And it's unbelievable. You've got to stay in tune with what's going on. I promise you, you're going to be left behind and you don't want to be Landon Awesome freaking video. Dude, Thank thanks you for, for having me, home. man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Hey, I told you to give you a free bonus for sticking around. Did you stick around? I guess if you're watching this, you did. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're running a sell. Most people don't know this. We're running a sell for our age leads right now where you can get them for as little as a buck, maybe even less if you buy a larger quantity. 
So stop what you're doing. Call our office 833-40 agent and grab age leads for anything that we're generating the last 90 days. Unbelievable. Hey, you heard this marketing talk. You're like, dude, I want to know how to work age leads better. That's a gold mine. You're right. It is. And I'm going to teach you how to do that right here in this video. Go check it out. I'll see you in it. We get a lot of questions about, should I work aged leads? Here, here's a play or, or, or I have no money and I want to make, I have zero dollars or.